Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video lecture series of Theory of Automata and Formal Languages. So we are into unit number one where we are learning about uh, finite automata. So uh, in this video we are uh, learning about uh, minimization of a DFA and uh, this is an extended part and uh, of uh, minimization of DFA topic. Okay, we in the previous lecture, you can get back to the previous lecture uh, where we have learned about the algorithm uh, that is partition method. Uh, state equivalence method and then we have checked one example as well okay so uh, then uh, we are left out with one more example and uh, we will be discussing that so this example actually i have left out with one topic that i have already told you in the previous lecture that uh, if uh, a particular state is there which is not reachable from the initial state then we have to delete that okay this is one set of uh, one one kind of that kind of example okay so you can look into example number two where it says that uh, this is the particular DFA given to you. Now you have to minimize this particular DFA. Okay. Uh, so uh, if we took if we talk about the step number one, step number one says that you have to find any state, any other states apart from initial state, which is not reachable from initial state. Okay. Now let me check from Q0 we can reach Q1 through this transition. So it is possible. No issue about that. From Q0, I can reach uh, Q2 through Q1, okay? But if I check Q3, it's not possible to reach from Q1, see, Q0. Because Q0, Q1, and from Q2, no. From Q3, only the transitions are coming. That means this particular state, I can say that I can delete this, okay? According to step number one. So this is a unique example belonging to step number one. So after deleting this particular state, definitely the transition associated with this state will also be deleted. So after deletion, the state diagram will be like this. Clear? Now we are left out out of four states. Now we are left out with three states. Okay. Now we have to check that whether we can again minimize or not. So we will go with the zero equivalence process. Okay. Now step number two says that we have to construct a transition table for this particular diagram. Okay. So let me draw, already it has been drawn and I have drawn the table. See, you can check out for Q0 on sync A, it is going to Q1. For Q0 on sync B, it is going to its, itself to Q0. Q1 on sync A, it is going to Q2. Q1 on sync B, it is going to Q1. Correct? And Q2 on sync A, it is going to Q1. And Q2 on sync B, it is going to Q2. Clear? So we are done with the state transition. Now we will move back to step number three where we will find out the zero equivalent states. In zero, how to find out zero equivalent states? You have already done in the previous example. If you have not done, then you can please look into my previous lecture where we have understood an example. Okay, how to find out these equivalent states. In zero equivalent states, you have to just separate the final states and non-final states. Okay. Now here in this example, I have find out that we are having two final states. So Q1 and Q2 will come to in one, come to one group and Q0 will be a separate group. Therefore, step number three, see, I have already done zero equivalent states will be one will be Q0 because it is a non-final state and Q1 and Q2 will come as a two group because these are final states. So zero equivalent states are done. Now move back to step number four, where we'll be doing uh, one equivalent state okay now if we move into one equivalent states we have to first check this group because this is a single group so no need to check first you check this group so if i check q1 and q2 if i check q1 and q2 on sync a where it is going q2 and q1 okay q2 and q1 in zero equivalent states these two are in the same set or same group so no issue about that then again, I have checked that Q1 and Q2 on sync B, where it is going Q1 and Q2, which is also again same set. Therefore, Q1 and Q2 will Q1 and Q2 will come together. Clear? Now I don't need to check Q0 with these states because this has already been separated, so Q0 will remain as it is. Now, if I check this, if I check this, I have find out that the same equivalent states we have got. Correct? Now, whenever you find out that same equivalent states you are getting, then you have to stop there and you have to finalize this, that this is the final minimized DFA states. Okay. So how many states we got? We got two states. One is Q0 and the other one is Q1, Q2. So let me draw that. So step number five will be, step number five will be now, 
one will be q1 one will be q1 and the other one will be q1 sorry q0 sorry q0 and the other one will be q1 q2 so since uh, q2 1 q1 both are final state so this will become as a final state now we, we, we can look into the transition table see q0 was the initial state so initial state will be q0 so q0 on sing a where it is going q1 correct so q1 is combination of this one so it will go to this particular state so q0 on sing b where it is going it is going to q0 only so it will become a self flow clear q1 and q2 q1 and q2 uh, uh, both you can check that on sing a where it is going q2 and q1 only so that means the same state so a will be coming here then q1 and q2 on sing b it is coming to the same states only so this is combined together so it will be a comma b so this is your final diagram minimize the dfa okay now if you uh, compare with this diagram see this was the original diagram okay this has been deleted first q3 was deleted and we got a minimized one again we have to check that the equivalence process with the help of equivalence process that it, it can also be minimized or not yes it is minimized and finally once you have got this was the original diagram and once after minimization you got this diagram so this is all about your minimization of a dfa and uh, here we have learned about uh, two examples and we have learned the algorithm that is partition method so in the next video, we will be coming with the, the algorithm known as myhill nirod theorem and we will learn one example over there. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Uh, we will meet in the next video. If you're having any query or any um, help from my side, please comment down below and do subscribe. Thanks a lot.